breaking Trump's life just threatened over painful mistake he made uh, doesn't end well by Al Weisman for, for uh, DailyVine.com. Iran has now threatened President Trump. Yes, you read that correctly. Iran's foreign minister has now threatened President Trump by saying he would be making a painful mistake for Americans if he decided to pull out of the Iran deal former President Barack Hussein Obama made. The threat came from Mohammed Javad Zarif after President Trump has already threatened to unilaterally pull out of the deal if it remains in its present form. Uh, President Trump has referred to the Iran deal as being the worst and most one-sided transaction Washington has ever entered into. Mr. Zarif went on to later add that the deal ensures the Islamic Republic of Iran continues to develop peaceful nuclear capabilities. And for the U.S. to pull out of it would be a painful and costly mistake for Americans. While this whole idea of walking away from this Iran deal is great for talking points, the reality is that the U.S. cannot unilaterally reimpose sanctions on Iran in an attempt to change the original terms of the agreement without actually violating the deal itself and opening the door for Iran to walk away from the agreement altogether, a move that would create a major breach without European allies who have strongly supported the Iran deal since day one. All this comes as the now Secretary of State Pompeo has steered clear of calling for the scraping of the landmark 2015 deal, which puts heavy restrictions on Iran's nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of some economic sanctions by the U.S., although at the same time he is on record saying we need more intrusive inspections on Iran to make sure they are keeping up their end of the bargain. It said that President Trump is far more trusting of Pompeo than he was of Tillerson, so it will be interesting to see how this plays out in the coming months. Here are more predictions via Guardian. The chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee has predicted Donald Trump will pull the U.S. out of the nuclear deal with Iran. Trump's firings uh, signal hawkish turn on North Korea and Iran. The Iran deal will be another issue that's coming up in May, and right now it doesn't feel like it's going to be extended. Bob Corker told CBS's Face the Nation in an interview broadcast on Sunday, I think the president likely will move away from it unless our European counterparts really come together on a framework. And it doesn't feel to me that they are. Uh, now, as we get within two weeks of the 12th of May date, that could change. Corker also said he did not think such a move would damage attempts to set up a meeting the same month between Trump and Kim Jong-un, the dictator of nuclear-armed North Korea. The Tennessee senator has clashed repeatedly with Trump and will retire in November. He has uh, been touted in some uh, quarters as a presidential rival in 2020. In his CBS interview, he said the whole situation with North Korea is somewhat unorthodox, and I think you're dealing with a leader there that probably doesn't think the same way that other countries and their leadership might. So I'm uh, not sure that ending the Iran deal is going to end up having a detrimental effect. Trump has uh, long opposed the 2015 deal, which curtails Tehran's development of nuclear weapons in return for sanctions relief, partly because his pre predecessor in the White House, Barack Obama, regarded it as a, sig a signature achievement. This week, Trump fired the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, a defender of the deal, and nominated the CIA Director Mike Pompeo to replace him. I wanted to either break it or do something, and he felt a little bit differently, Trump told uh, reporters. So we were not really thinking the same. With Mike Pompeo, we have a very similar thought process. Trump is also reported to be close to replacing the National Security Advisor, H.R. McMaster, another defender of the deal, with the former Bush UN Ambassador John Bolton 
a hawk who favors preemptive military action. Corker said he thought Pompeo had a good chance of being confirmed by his committee, even though Rand Paul of Kentucky has said he will vote no. Paul uh, spoke to CNN State of the Union. Uh, I don't think uh, you really want uh, people who are eager for war to be running the State Department, he said. You want a diplomat. I agree with that. Pompeo, uh, he said, was uh, too much of an advocate for regime change, really everywhere, and was not a good fit to be a diplomat. Paul is also opposed to the appointment of Gina Haspel as Pompeo's successor at the CIA. He told CBS there was no evidence Haspel was protesting uh, against torture when she oversaw enhanced interrogation under the Bush administration. There's every evidence she was covering it up, he said. Tillerson Corker said uh, was doing fine despite reportedly having been fired in an undignified manner. The White House Chief of Staff John Kelly claimed uh, Tillerson took a warning call from him while on the toilet and Tillerson then learned of the final decision by tweet. Corker added that he thought Trump likes to hear diverse opinions. Once a decision is made, he said, I think Trump likes to see it move along quickly and I think that was one of the frustrations he may have had with Secretary Tillerson. Could be, but I agree with uh, Rand Paul there uh, uh, because, um, yeah, and you know, I mean, you don't fire somebody over on a tweet. I don't know. Like, uh, um, something has to be, uh, you know, something uh, should be done a little bit more diplomatically, and we don't want warmongers in there. Uh, and uh, Obama messed things up really badly. And, you know, trying to clean this mess up, you can't clean it up in one shot, you see. And I think Trump is the type of person that wants to do it in one shot, but things like this, of this nature, can't be done in, a, in one shot, you know. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.